I'd like to welcome you to another Kali Tutors tutorial session. In this tutorial session, we'll be focusing on FAC 1501. If you are new to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to get access to the latest public videos the moment that we upload them. The main objectives of this tutorial lesson is to discuss VET. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to calculate VET given a VET inclusive or VET exclusive value. Without wasting your time, let us define what VET is, okay? VET is an acronym for Value Added Tax, and this is a type of direct tax levied on the consumption of goods and services. It is collected at every stage of the supply chain, from production to the point of sale where value is added to the product or services. The tax is ultimately paid by the end consumer. But businesses are responsible for collecting and paying the money to the government. Okay, let's say we have a company that wants to sell oranges to, to its uh, client base, okay? And this company decides that, okay, I am going to charge 200 for oranges, okay? The price for oranges is 200, okay? And this client is ready to pay that 200, okay? So the client approaches the business. So while they are busy with this transaction, uh, a third party comes, and this is the government uh, with its fat stomach, okay? And it, it talks to the business owner and say, hey, buddy, instead of selling uh, these oranges for 200 rand, please add it rand for me, okay? So if you know, this is like a bribe, okay? Pay me 30 rand, and then you'll continue working or operating in this country, okay? And the guy who's uh, the owner of the business says, "Oh, okay, it's fine, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give you that data run from my own pocket. Uh, I'm going to add this money uh, on my actual selling price, okay? And then he changes his price now. The price is uh, 280, and this extra amount, okay, uh, is paid by the unsuspecting." A customer okay so instead of getting his oranges for 200 rand uh, he has to pay the bribe that is wanted or is needed by government officials okay so the 30 rand goes to the fed guy and the 200 rand goes back to the company okay so that's basically all that vet is okay so let us look at how we actually determine that the, the vet amount here is 30 rands okay for FAC 1501, the VAT rate will always be 15%. Okay, so the VAT rate is uh, 15%, okay? So this simply means it's 15% of the original selling price, okay? So in this case, the VAT amount was calculated like this. Uh, 200 rands, uh, the original price, multiplied by 15 over... 100, okay, so we are dividing by 100 because we are converting uh, this from percentage to decimal since it's 15 percent Yeah, we use 15 over 100 and then this will give us 30 rands This is your VAT amount. Okay, the actual price that is paid by the consumer will now be uh, the price will be uh, the 200 which is uh, VAT uh, exclusive exclusive plus the VAT amount okay the VAT uh, amount okay the VAT amount okay which is in this case the rents okay so this value here uh, the total here the P equals to 280 is now our VAT inclusive value okay VAT inclusive value. So whenever they say you must calculate the VAT inclusive value, they simply means that you must take the VAT exclusive amount, then add your tax, and then you get the VAT inclusive value. Okay. Let's say we are given a problem where we are given the VAT inclusive value, and we are asked to calculate uh, the VAT amount or the VAT exclusive value. How do we go about doing that? Okay. And this is what we are going to do next, okay? Let me just erase everything that we have here.
Let's say that we are told that the price of oranges is actually 230, okay? And this value is VAT inclusive, okay? Uh, it simply means the VAT amount has already been added, okay? So the question is now, calculate the VAT amount given this VAT inclusive value. How do you go about doing that, okay? So this is simple. There is a simple equation that you can use. To get the VAT amount, uh, you must take the VAT inclusive value. In this case, it's 230. Then multiply it by the VAT rate. In this case, the VAT rate is 15%. Divide the VAT rate by 100 plus the VAT rate. Okay. So, in other words, this is the same as 280 uh, multiplied by 15 over 115. Okay. And then, if you use your calculator, the VAT amount uh, from this calculation will be, and the answer is 30. Okay. So if the second question was for you to calculate the VAT exclusive value, okay? So that will be P exclusive, okay? Uh, you will use something like this. You can take the VAT inclusive uh, value, uh, then subtract the VAT amount, and you'll get 200, okay? You will get 200. But there is also another way to go about uh, doing this, okay? Instead of calculating the VAT amount first and then subtracting this, you can simply calculate the VAT exclusive value by using the following equation, okay? So this will be uh, P exclusive equals to uh, the value of the VAT inclusive, uh, okay? amount multiplied by 100 over 115 okay so this 115 was calculated exactly like this and in this case you should expect to get 200 okay so these two methods uh give you the same answer it's basically the same thing okay so if you are given the vet inclusive value you can calculate the VAT exclusive uh, value. If you are given the VAT exclusive value, you can calculate the VAT inclusive value. Okay. So that is basically all that you need to know in terms of calculating uh, whether VAT inclusive or VAT exclusive values and also the VAT amount. Let us apply what we have learned here in learning unit for self-assessment quiz one. Okay. So that quiz is basically based on everything that I have taught you so far.